Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually wanted to talk about healthy hair coloring options. However, please leave me a comment below if you've ever had an experience where you colored your hair and your hair got extremely damaged. I would love to know all the details. The three color options that I would recommend is first, toner, permanent color, and then highlight. Toner will darken your hair, add shine, change the tonality, and it's a very great option because it's a demi-permanent. So if you do tend to change your mind about your hair color often, this will be a very less permanent option and will give you the most flexibility to change your hair. However, keep in mind that toner does not make your hair lighter. If you want to have more information of what a toner does, I will have a link right above the screen. The next two colors I'm going to be talking about is permanent color and high lift. But before diving into those two, I wanted to talk about technique. The technique is pretty much what you're going to ask the stylist at the salon to do. I would recommend asking for either highlights or balayage. They are very similar. I would say highlights are pretty much the standard highlights that everyone knows, but balayage is highlights but with a little bit more concentration of lightness through the bottom. These two techniques allow you to get your hair done once a year or you could even just get it done and grow it out. The key to healthy hair is just not doing it so often. The next two color options is permanent color and high lift. Permanent color is great, not only does it deposit color but it also provides lift. I would say that permanent color, depending on what developer you use, it can provide about three levels to four levels maximum of lift. And that is actually a good thing because your results will honestly look pretty natural as if it was done by the sun. Lastly is high lift. High lift is also a great option because it's very similar to permanent color but it is just a little bit stronger. I would say high lift can provide four to five levels of lift depending on your texture. And honestly, for people who have really dark coarse hair, uh, it might be necessary to do high lift if you really want to be able to see like some lightness through it. Again, out of the other two, high lift is going to be the most damaging, but compared to using bleach, it's actually a lot safer as well. If you are going to go with the permanent color or high lift option, I would say that you have to be somewhat open-minded to the results. Because everyone's hair is different, we all have different levels of warmth in our strands. And the lighter you lift it, the more warmth will come out. Even if we're using tones like ash to combat that, there will still be warmth coming up. So if you are someone who wants a very specific color and it is ash or mushroom brown, then these healthy color options are not gonna be for you. Unless you are already bleached blonde, you could possibly get that with just a toner. But if you are dark, trying to go light, there are limitations when using permanent color and high lift. These options are gonna be way more safer than using bleach. And I can ensure you that if you were to go with these options, you would not feel like your hair feels drastically different from when you had it natural. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. I post something new once a week. Thank you for watching. Bye.